In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to disassemble a PS4 Pro CUH7215. You can check the model number by looking at the back. Right above the power port, it should say PlayStation 4 model CUH7215B. If you have a CUH7000 or 7216, this video also applies to you. The most important thing to look out for are the first two numbers after CUH. If you have a CUH72, this video is gonna be very helpful for you. I'm gonna be showing you guys not just how to disassemble the PS4 Pro CUH7215 or CUH7200 series console, but I'm also gonna be showing you guys how to replace each part when it goes bad, and eventually they do. This video is brought to you by the FastTac Pro Auto Kit, which is the automatic tool kit we're gonna be using to disassemble this PS4 Pro. Link's in the description box. First thing I'm gonna be showing you guys how to replace is the hard drive, and you can replace the hard drive without voiding any warranty that your PS4 Pro may have. Most of these systems are out of warranty now. The reason you'd wanna replace your hard drive is if you're getting the PS4 cannot start error message, and you can't access the PlayStation menu. It's caused due to a bad hard drive. And we can replace the hard drive by looking at the back here, and we're gonna remove this cover. Gonna lift it out. There's a single Phillips screw in here that holds the hard drive in, which we're gonna remove using our FastTech Pro Auto Kit. Again, links in the description box for the screwdriver. Then we're gonna pull out the hard drive like this, and all PS4 Pros use a 2.5 inch spec hard drive, which we sell on our website. If you replace the hard drive, you will have to replace the software as well, and I'll put a link in the description box where you can download the PlayStation system software. You can buy this hard drive from our website with the enclosure or without the enclosure, but in case you decide to buy it without the enclosure, you're gonna have to reuse your old enclosure and you can do that by removing these four screws on the side that hold the enclosure onto the hard drive. Then we're gonna lift the hard drive out. As you can see, this is a Seagate one terabyte hard drive. We sell these OEM hard drives on our website, as I mentioned earlier. We sell one terabyte, two terabyte, four terabyte, five terabyte options, and we also have SSDs listed on our website as well. And when you replace the hard drive, you're gonna have to reinstall the system software. You can do this through the safe mode menu, or you can do that by copying the file in the description box onto a USB stick. I'll also link a video where I do this job in detail and show you guys how to update your PS4 with a USB. At this point, we're gonna have to remove these stickers, which are considered warranty stickers in some countries. So I figured I'd mention that to you guys. We're gonna use a knife to remove these stickers. Now, you're gonna see on some older models, there's two screws, but on the newer CUH72 series PS4 Pros, there's only one Torx T8H screw that we're gonna have to remove. This is not a standard T8, so a standard T8's not gonna work. Now we're gonna remove the top cover, which we can do by sticking our fingers in the front. like that. The first thing I'm gonna show you guys how to replace is the power supply. If your PS4 Pro is not turning on at all, that means if there's no beep, there's no light at the front when you press the power button, you need a new power supply. In some cases, it could be a motherboard related issue, but in 99% of the cases, it's caused due to an issue with the power supply. If you guys are looking to buy a power supply, we sell these on our website. We're gonna need to remove these four Torx T8 screws. Now we're gonna lift this piece out like this. And it's got these lo longer Torx T8 screws. You gotta keep that in mind when you're putting this back together. Now we're gonna flip the console over. At this point, we're gonna remove the bottom cover and we're gonna have to remove these clips. We're gonna have, we can lift them up like that. There's another clip here. Disengage that and the bottom cover should come off like that. That's the bottom cover. 
We even sell these case parts if you've damaged yours or if you've lost it. So links in the description box for these. To remove the power supply, we have to remove these Torx T8 screws. But since we're gonna be removing everything from the system, I'm gonna be removing all of these screws. There's Torx T8 screws, and then there's Phillips screws on this side, both of which are included in the Fast Tech Pro Auto Kit. screws out I'm gonna flip the console over but I'm gonna hold on to the plate at the back because there's nothing holding it on anymore I'm gonna flip it around and now I'm gonna lift it up a little bit like this so I can get the power supply out of here I'm gonna lift it up from the front there's a connector here that I want to be very careful with All right, I'm gonna lift the power supply out you can disconnect the power supply either from the connector here or the connector here, whichever one's easier for you. You can remove it by grabbing the connector from the sides, wiggling it and pulling it like that. Or you can remove it from the power supply like that. And that's the power supply right there. This is a model ADP 300 FR. That's the power supply a COH7215 A or B will use. And we sell these on our website, links in the description box. If you're in Europe or Asia, our power supplies would also work for you because they do 100 to 240 volts. Links in the description box and also the top comment. Now I'm gonna flip the PS4 Pro back over, but I'm gonna be holding the back plate because there's nothing holding it on. Now I'm gonna remove these antenna cables by lifting them up. I'm gonna remove the fan connector on the left side here by grabbing it from the sides. I'm gonna wiggle it and pull. I'm gonna remove this connector here. That's for the jack button by pulling it out. I'm gonna pull the power button connector out here by pulling it out. Now we have to remove the disc drive connectors. We can lift this one up here. There's a clip and then we can pull out the cable and these ones we can simply pull out. There's no clips on them. We're gonna get these cables out of the way and now we should be able to pull this back plate off like that. The model number on this motherboard is NVG001 and we sell these on our website as well. We're gonna remove the clamp for the APU heatsink. There's two Phillips screws that hold it in. That's what the clamp looks like. On the first gen PS4 Pro model, the clamp is the shape of an X with four screws. But on the newer ones, it's got this design. We're gonna pull this piece up like this, and now we should be able to get the motherboard out. We're gonna lift it up from this side, from the side that has the USBs on it, and it should come out. And that's what the motherboard looks like. This is where that CMOS battery is that you guys will have to replace one day, because if these die, then you get that CE error where you can't load games off the hard drive, even if you're trying to load them from a disc. And again, the model number is NVG001, and we sell these on our website. This Panasonic IC chip dies quite frequently, and if it does, you're not gonna get any video output, and you're gonna get that no signal error on your TV. And if you have this issue, we sell just a chip on our website. And on the back, Another component that fails quite frequently is this Bluetooth chip right here. If your PS4 is not connecting to any controller, even if it's with a cable and it only connects to your controller in safe mode, you need to replace this Bluetooth chip. If you do need this chip, we sell this on our website as well. Links in the description box and the top comment. So now that we've looked at the motherboard, we'll get this out of the way. 
Now we're gonna remove the screws that hold the heat sink in. And you'd wanna do this part either to get to the fan or the disc drive, or if you're getting the PS4 is too hot error message, it's most likely caused due to the dust that's gonna be behind this panel here on the, on the heat sink that's attached to it. And a lot of people miss this part. People simply replace the thermal paste and they think that's gonna fix the issue when it never does. So I'm gonna be removing these screws that hold the heat sink in. And now the heat sink should be free. I should be able to lift it out. And that's the heat sink right there. As you can see, there's some dust build up here. This is where I was talking about. There's some dust build up here, but since this person barely used this PS4 Pro, and this is one of the last models, so it's, I believe only two or three years old and they barely played it, so there's not that much dust. But if you're a regular gamer and if you're in a dusty environment, this is gonna be full of dust. Most likely on older PS4 consoles, this is gonna be full of dust all the way up till here. So what you wanna do is buy a compressed air can, of course, from fasttechstore.com, links in the description box. Blow this heat sink out and put this back together. And of course, replace the thermal paste as well, since you've gotten this far. Now I'm gonna remove the fan by removing these two screws. Now we're gonna lift the fan out. This is a KSB1012H from Delta. We sell these on our website as well. These fans tend to clog up with dust, with age, and what happens is sometimes the coil burns out or sometimes they just seize up completely. And fortunately for you guys, we also sell these on our website. You guys can use the coupon code YouTube for a discount for this fan or any other PS4 Pro part or any other electronic part on our website at fasttechstore.com. Now we're gonna remove the final item from the console, which is the disk drive. There's gonna be a few screws, as always, that we have to remove. This one here is a long screw, so take a note of that. Once you've undone those screws, we're gonna be able to lift the disk drive out like that. And that's the disk drive right there. We also sell these on our website as well. Surprise, surprise, links in the description box. Now each PS4 Pro model has a specific disk drive. They're not interchangeable. So this is not gonna work in a CUH7015 or a CUH7115. This is only gonna work in a 7215. So you have to be very careful when you're ordering these disk drives or the power supply or any other parts in these as a matter of fact, because they're all specific to that model number. That's why I make these videos model number specific. And that's it for this video. Don't forget to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. That helps us out a lot. And do check us out at fasttechstore.com if you need any parts, tools, or repair services. That's the best way to help us out and help our business grow and make sure that we keep making these videos. Also, check out my vlog channel in which I travel the world and I record my adventures. Link's in the description box. And I promise that you won't be disappointed. Also, follow me on Instagram at youngtechgod. Link for that is gonna be in the description box as well. Thanks for watching another video from Fast Tech, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.